Okay, so we just finished the second parable. This is chapter 56, section 9. I now began to utter the third parable concerning the saints and the elect. Blessed are ye, O saints and elect, for glorious is your lot. The saints shall exist in the light of the sun, and the elect in the light of everlasting life, the days of whose life shall never terminate, the days of whose life shall never terminate, nor shall the days of the saints be numbered, who seek for light and obtain righteousness with the Lord of spirits. Peace be to the saints with the Lord of the world. Henceforward shall the saints be told to seek in heaven the secrets of righteousness, the portion of faith, for like the sun has it arisen upon the earth, while the darkness has passed away. There shall be light interminable, nor shall they enter upon the enumeration of time, for darkness shall be previously destroyed, and light shall increase before the Lord of Spirits. Before the Lord of Spirits shall the light of uprightness increase forever. Wow, it's so beautifully written. In those days my eyes beheld the secrets of the lightnings and the splendors and judgment belonging to them. They lighten for a blessing and for a curse, according to the will of the Lord of Spirits. And there I saw the secrets of the thunder, while it rattles above in heaven, and its sound is heard. The habitations also of the earth are sh uh, were shown to me. The sound of the thunder is for peace and for blessing, as well as for a curse, according to the word of the Lord of Spirits. Afterwards, every secret of the splendors and of the lightnings was seen by me. For blessing and for fertility, they lighten. All right. Section 10. In the 500th year and in the seventh month, and the fourteenth day of the month of the life of Enoch, in that parable, I saw that the heaven of heavens shook, and it shook violently, and that the powers of the Most High and the angels, thousands of thousands and myriads of myriads, were agitated with great agitation. And when I looked, the Ancient of Days was sitting on the throne of his glory, while the angels and saints were standing around him. A great trembling came upon me, and terror seized me. <clears throat> my loins were bowed down and loosened, my reins were dissolved, and I fell on my face. The holy Michael, another holy angel, one of the holy ones, was sent who raised me up. And when he raised me, my spirit returned, for I was incapable of enduring this vision of violence, its agitation and the concussion and the concussion of heaven. <laughs> the concussion of heaven. Okay, so he was looking at the Ancient of Days, sitting on the throne of his glory, while the angels and saints were standing about him. A great trembling came upon me, terror seized me. My loins were bowed down and loose. My reins were dissolved. I fell upon my face. So my loins were bowed down and loosed. My reins were dissolved. So here I think he's actually saying like he pooped and wet his pants and fell upon my face. The holy Michael, another holy angel, one of the holy ones was sent who raised me up. Yeah. And when he raised me, my spirit returned for I was incapable of enduring this vision of violence, its agitation and the concussion of heaven. Then holy Michael said to me, wherefore art thou disturbed at this vision? Here the uh, hitherto has existed the day of mercy and he has been merciful and long-suffering towards all who dwell upon the earth but when the time shall come then shall the power the punishment and the judgment take place which the lord of spirits has prepared for those who prostrate themselves to the judgment of righteousness for those who abjure that judgment and for those who take his name in vain Okay, this is an interesting word. Abjure. <clears throat> um, 
Abjur. Okay. Abjurus. To renounce upon oath, to forswear, to disavow. Abjure allegiance to a pre. <coughs> Um, to cause one to renounce or recant, to reject with uh, solemnity, uh, solemnity, to abandon forever, to repudiate, to disclaim, abstain, avoid, shun, disavow. For those who abjure that judgment or for those who take his name in vain. That day has been prepared for the elect as a day of covenant and for sinners as a day of inquisition in that day shall be distributed in that day shall shall be distributed for food two monsters monsters a female monster whose name is leviathan dwelling in the depths of the sea above the springs of waters wow and a male monster whose name is Behemoth, which possesses, moving, possesses, moving on his breast the invisible wilderness, which possesses, moving on his breast the invisible, invisible wilderness, an invisible wilderness, and one is in the water. This is male, female, yin, yang. Whoa. Okay, this is why Enoch was scared. Wow. Um, uh, and a male monster whose name is Behemoth, which possesses moving on his breast the invisible wilderness. His name was Dendayen, in the east of the garden, where the elect and the righteous will dwell, where he received it from my ancestor, who was man, and from Adam, the first of men, whom the Lord of Spirits made. His name, who, Dendayen, in the east of the garden, where the elect of the righteous will dwell, where he received it from my ancestor, who was man. What is going on here? <laughs> from Adam, the first of men, whom the Lord of Spirits made. I don't, I don't, I don't know why we just went to his name. Who? We already know the name Behemoth, right? In that day shall be distributed for food two monsters, a female monster whose name is Leviathan, the male one is Behemoth. So, first nine, his name was Dendayen in the east of the garden. Okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah, this book does this a lot. Where the elect and the righteous will dwell, where he received it from my ancestor, who was man, from Adam, the first of men, whom the Lord of Spirits made. Then I asked of another angel to show me the power of those monsters, how they became separated on the same day one being in the depths of the sea and one in the dry desert. Din de Yen, is this both of them as one? Whoa. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this female monster, this male monster, is male, female. But when you join the two, they become Dendayen. They used to live in the east of the garden where the elect and the righteous will dwell again. Where he, Dendayen, received it from my ancestor, who was man, and from Adam, the first of men, whom the Lord of Spirits made. But right now, the Garden of Eden is an invisible wilderness. But this is where Dendayen is. Huh, is that what it's saying? This is what I'm getting, which is interesting now. So the two become three. One plus one is three. Man, woman, child. One plus one, three. <laughs> then I asked for another angel to show me the power of those monsters, 
how they became separated on the same day, one being in the depths of the sea and one in the dry desert. Then he said, Thou son of man are here desirous of understanding secret things. <laughs> was he teasing him? And the angel of peace who was with me said, These two monsters are by the power of God prepared to become food, that the punishment of God may not be in vain. Ah, oh, by the power of God prepared to become food, that the punishment of God may not be in vain. Then shall children be slain with their mothers and son with the, or sons with their fathers. And when the punishment of the Lord of Spirits shall continue, upon them shall it continue, that the punishment of the Lord of Spirits may not take place in vain. After that, judgment shall exist with mercy and long-suffering. Then another angel who proceeded with me spoke to me and showed me the first and last secrets in heaven above and in the depths of the earth. In the extremities of heaven and in the foundations of it and in the receptacle of the winds, he showed me how their spirits were divided, how they were balanced, and how both the springs and the winds were numbered according to the force of their spirit. He showed me the power of the moon's light, that its power is a just one, as well as the divisions of the stars according to their respective names. That very division is divided, that the lightning flashes. What? He showed me the power of the moon's light, that its power is a just one, as well as the divisions of the stars according to their respective names. That very division is divided, that the lightning flashes, <laughs> that it troops immediately, that its troops immediately obey, and that a session takes place during thunder and continuance of its sound, nor are the thunder and lightning separated. Neither do both of them move with one spirit, yet are they not separated. For when the lightning lightens, the thunder sounds, and the spirit at a proper period pauses, making an equal division between them for the receptacle, upon which their periods depend, is loose as sand. Each of them at a proper season is restrained with the brittle and turned by the power of the spirit, which thus propels them according to the spacious extent of the earth. The spirit likewise of the sea is potent and strong, and as a strong power causes it to herb, so is it driven forwards and scattered against the mountains of the earth. The spirit of the frost has its angel, and the spirit of hail, the spirit of hail, there is a good angel. The spirit of snow ceases in its strength, and a solitary spirit is in it, which ascends from it like vapor, and is called refrigeration. The spirit also of mist dwells with them in their receptacle, but it has a receptacle to itself, for its progress is in splendor, in light and in darkness, in winter and in summer, it receptacle is bright, says spelling mistake. Its receptacle is bright, and an angel is in it. The spirit of Jew has its abode in the extremities of heaven, in connection with the receptacle of rain, and its progress is in winter and in summer. The cloud produced by it and the cloud of the mist become united. One gives to the other. And when the spirit of rain is in motion from its receptacle, angels come and opening its receptacles bring it forth. When likewise it is sprinkled over all the earth, it forms an union with every kind of water on the ground. For the waters remain on the ground because they afford nourishment to the earth from the Most High who is in heaven. Well, I really love how the stuff is written. Um, all right. So 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 here he's speaking about how everything has a spirit in it. And he was describing how, you know, like when there's lightning 
So you see the flash, the light, the lightning. And then after a few seconds, you hear the thunder. So he's saying that this, these two events happen at the same time. But the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound. So that is actually regulated by a certain angel. <laughs> okay. So the way that he puts it is like, for, for when the lightning lightens, the thunder sounds, and the spirit at a proper period pauses, making an equal division between them. For the receptacle upon which their periods depend is loose as sand. Each of them at a proper season is restrained with the brittle. Okay. And here, brittle... I just wanna this 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 word is used um in another book. Alright, bridle. Bridle. Headgear of which a horse is directed and which carries a bit and reins, a restraint, a curb, a check, a length of line or cable attached to two parts of something spread. The force of a pull, the rigging of a kite attaching, a mooring holster. Okay. Um. Okay. So, uh, each of them, a proper season is restrained with the brittle and turned by the power of the spirit, which thus propels them according to the spacious extent of the earth. Wow. So the attention to detail is actually visible. So while he's having a tour of heaven, he can see like how everything actually works. <laughs> like even when like there is lightning, when there's thunder, like he actually sees how like everything works. Like when you clap uh, and there's an echo, he sees how the echo is made. Like there's an angel for that. So he's actually seeing the sea, potent and strong, and as a strong power causes it to err, is driven forward, scattered against the mountains. The spirit of the frost has its own angel. Okay, in the spirit of the hail, hail, there is a good angel in there. So everything has a spirit, and this is from the ancient African understandings that. Uh, Everyone know, uh, knew that everything has like a life force in it. And this life force can actually be directed like through angels, you know. So that is pretty profound. All right. So upon this account, therefore, there is a regulation in the quantity of rain which the angels receive. These things I saw, all of them, even paradise. <laughs> Enoch. In those days I beheld long ropes given to those angels who took to their wings and fled, advancing towards the north. And I inquired of the angels, saying, Wherefore have they taken those long ropes and gone forth? He said, They are gone forth to measure. The angel who proceeded with me said, These are the measures of the righteous, and cords shall be the righteous, and cords shall the righteous bring, that they may Trust in the name of the Lord of spirits forever and ever. The elect shall begin to dwell with the elect. And these are the measures which shall be given to faith and which shall strengthen the words of righteousness. These are the measures. Okay, measures. So here, you know, I think there's something more to this measurement, really. metric moderation temperance so i'm just going to go with the obsolete meaning for now because that's the most important one so i inquired of the angel where have you taken the long ropes they are gone forth to measure the elect shall bring to dwell with the elect and these are the measures which shall be given to faith and which shall strengthen the words of righteousness these measures shall reveal the secrets in the depth of the earth. So they are measuring the depth of the earth, earth. But then what does it have to do? These are the measures which shall be given to faith. 
in which shall strengthen the words of righteousness. So is it saying, like when you measure something, again, this uh, prescribed quantity, moderation, temperance, or when you measure something, when you measure something, does this give you faith? All right, these measures shall reveal all the secrets in the depth of the earth, and it shall be that those who have been destroyed in the desert and who have been devoured by the fish of the sea and by wild beasts shall return and trust in the day of the elect one. For one shall perish in the presence of the Lord of Spirits, nor shall any be capable of perishing. Then they received the commandment, all who were in the heavens above, to whom a combined power, voice, and splendor, and splendor like fire were given. And first with their voice they blessed him, they exalted him, they glorified him with wisdom, and ascribed to him wisdom with the word and with the breath of life. And the Lord of Spirits seated upon the throne of his glory, the elect one, who shall judge all the works of the holy in heaven above, and in a balance shall he weigh their actions? Um, all right, so when they receive the commandment, all who were in the heavens above. All right. Wait, and it shall be that those who have been destroyed in the desert and who have been devoured by the fish of the sea and by wild beasts shall return and trust in the day of the elect one. For none shall perish in the presence of the Lord of Spirits. Wow. None shall perish in the presence of the Lord of the Spirits. So it's good to always put yourself before the Lord of the Spirits. You cannot perish while you're there. It is a place where you're safe. Nor shall any be capable of perishing. Even if you wanted to perish, you couldn't because you're at the source of life. <laughs> so it's not like it's not it's not like a good thing. It's like even if you wanted to, you couldn't. It's a it's 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 all upon his whim, like his power, his strength. <laughs> yeah. How about that? <laughs> then they receive the commandment. Okay, the commandment. Command. Come man is commandment. So it commands your mind, meant mentality. All who are in the heavens above, to whom a combined power, voice and splendor like fire were given. They received the commandment, all who were in heavens above. So the commandment to whom they received, to whom a combined power, voice and splendor like fire were given. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. So God gave them a commandment. All who were in heavens above, to whom... Wow. Like, something is happening in this verse. Like, I can't even, like, put it into words. Because something, something incredible is actually happening. Because they received the commandment, right? They received the commandment. And all who were in heavens above, in the, in the heavens above, everyone in heaven received the commandment. To whom a combined power... All right, to whom, which are the people in heaven. So to whom all who were in heaven received a commandment. So to, to all whom received it, all right, what they received was present or power in that moment. Combine, command. All right, so everything happened instantaneously. Just like how, like, when you're at the Lord of Spirits, you can't die, and you're not capable of dying. So everything happened at that very moment that 
it was the power of God, which is the word because it's a commandment. So this this word carries power. So when they received this commandment at the same time, since they're already angels who live in chorus, in harmony, at one. So they received combined power. So it's like all of them at the same time got the same charge. So imagine the the, the, the like explosion of light that was there at that moment upon this commandment. So they received the commandment, all who were in the heavens above, to whom a command, a combined power, voice, and splendor like fire were given. So there was this huge fire in these spirits as they received this surge, this commandment, this power. You know what I'm saying? There's so much happening here. And it all happened at the same time to all who were in heaven. At the same time. Same commandment. A combined power. So, so when they receive the power from God, who is the source of power, they were given power through hearing. That is faith. Through hearing. And they also had power because they were empowered right so through hearing they have power through internalizing or receiving they have power right but then through fulfillment since they are in an ethereal realm that as soon as they think of something it happens so even fulfilling this is giving them power so there was a huge surge of power at this moment so at first with their voice, they blessed him, they exalted him, they glorified him with wisdom and ascribed to him wisdom with the word and with the breath of life. So the breath of life, I was just thinking about it. You know, the breath of life is the spirit of God itself, like the breath of life. So they ascribe to him wisdom with the word. Huh. They ascribe to him wisdom with the word and with the breath of life. Wow. They ascribe to him wisdom. They said, so, so, so they admitted, like, they glorified him with wisdom. Okay. So when they were glorifying him, they were using wisdom to fulfill this. And they ascribed to him wisdom with their words and with the breath of life. So with their whole spirit, with the breath of life, with the breath of life. So they ascribe to him wisdom with their with the word and the breath and with the breath of life. Wow. With the breath of life. Because I was really just thinking about this. Like the our breath, that is the spirit of God. That is like, that is the spirit of God. So if you ascribe someone wisdom with your words and with your breath of life, what will you be doing? What will that look like? What will it feel like? If you ascribe wisdom to God with your breath of life, what is it? What is this? So this is what they were doing. Something so mysterious. It's worship. It's personal. It's, you know... And the Lord of Spirits seated upon the throne of, of his glory. And the Lord of Spirits seated upon the throne of his glory, the elect one. So this is Jesus sitting as God. Who shall judge all the works of the holy? In heaven above and in a balance shall he weigh their actions. Okay, this is, again is speaking of balance, weighing. And then we just saw the yin yang twin, uh, yin yang sign. And when he shall lift up his countenance to judge their secret ways in the word of the name of the Lord of Spirits and their progress in the path of righteous judgment of God Most High, they shall all speak with united voice. Again, their unity, their combined power voice splendor like fire. They shall all speak with united voice and bless glorify, exalt, and praise in the name of the Lord of Spirits. 
Okay, again, verse 11. Who shall judge the works of the Lord of the, ho- of the Holy? In heaven above and in the balance shall he weigh their actions. And when he shall lift up his countenance to judge their secret ways in the word of the name of the Lord of Spirits, their secret ways in the word of the name of the Lord of Spirits. That's such a tangling uh, thing, yeah. So when I read it the first time, I'm like, okay. But then, like, it's uh, it's it's really, really twisted. Because in the word of the name, when he shall lift up his countenance to judge their secret ways in the word of the name of the Lord of Spirits. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? In the word of the name of the Lord of Spirits. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like those those like overly spiritual people when they're praying like in the name of the Lord of the way of the yeah <laughs> but it sounds it it has it has a certain rhythm to it though but yeah um I don't grasp it as easily though when he shall lift up his countenance to judge their secret ways in the word of the name okay so in the word of the name of the lord of spirits and their progress in the path of the righteous judgment of god most high they shall all speak with united voice and bless glorify exalt and praise in the name of the lord of spirits he shall call to every power of the heavens to all the holy above And to the power of God, the cherubim and the seraphim and the orphanin, whoa, all the angels of power and all the angels of the Lord's, namely of the elect one and of the other power who was upon the earth over the water on that day. Come on, did you just call call on wisdom who was over the earth on that day? All right, I'm not going to verse 14 yet. This is an amazing verse right here. So just to refresh, cherubim. Okay. Cherubim. Okay, okay, okay. Didn't really. A cherub. Um... Derived from cherub. Okay. Winged creature attending God ascribed by Pseudo Dionysus and as the second highest order of angels ranked above thrones below, below seraphim similar to Lamasu in pre exilic texts of Hebrew Bible more humanoid later texts. Okay. Artistic de- depiction winged child okay here seraph seraph six winged angel the highest choir or order of angels in christian angelology ranked above cherubim and below god they are the fifth highest order of angels in jewish angelology a detailed description can be found at the beginning of Isaiah chapter 6. <clears throat> so Isaiah saw seraphims, the highest form of angels, cherubims, winged creatures. It doesn't say six. Um, attending on God described by... Okay. Let's see what they got here. Holy Bible. All right. And then, so God drove out the man he placed at the east of the garden, cherubims, a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. John Milton, about his chariot, numberless were poor cherubim and seraphim, potentialities, thrones, virtues, winged spirits, chariots, winged. Okay. And... This is what Ona Fim. Okay, I ek uh oh Ophanin.
Okay. Stop, Bannon. All right. This is a toxin present in the venom of the King Cobra. Wow. <laughs> is this it? I don't think so. So, I, I also don't know this uh, type of angel. I remember reading it before when I read this book before. But I really don't know this. But I know the cherubim, the seraphim. All right. So, the cherubim, the seraphim, and the ophanin, all the angels of power. And all the angels of the Lord's, namely of the elect one, and of the other power who was upon the earth over the water that day. In fact, for fun, let's have some fun. And um, let me make sure here. Okay. So let's uh, check out what Isaiah saw. Okay. Let's go. Okay, this phone is taking a long time to start. Um, alright, Isaiah, where are you? Six, alright. Um, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord, Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphim. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face. With twain he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and whom will go for us? Then said I, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear you indeed, but understand not. You see indeed, but perceive not. All right. Wow, this is... Uh, a powerful, a powerful uh, verse. Okay. And this is what Jesus quoted. Go and tell the people, you hear indeed, but you understand not. You see indeed, but you perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? Then he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. And the Lord have removed man far away, and they be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. But yet in it shall be a tenth, and it shall remain, and it shall be eaten, and, teal, and trailed tree, as an oak whose substance is in them. When they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Okay, more angels. I feel like Ezekiel. Uh, okay. 
Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel 1. If I'm wrong about the chapter, then I, I, I don't I don't really know if I'm going to find it. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Okay. In the fifth day of the month, which is the fifth day, yeah, the word of the Lord came expressly to Isaiah, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Jabbar, and the hand of the Lord was upon him. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the mist thereof was the color of amber, out of the mist of the fire. Also, out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings, and their feet were straight. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a cow's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. They had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides. They four had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went everyone straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces, and their wings were stretched outwards. Two wings for everyone were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. So these are four wings, four faces, four angels. So these are the cherubims. And... Uh, Isaiah saw the seraphim, which had two uh, wings covering the face, two wings covering the body, and two wings to fly. And they went, everyone, straight forward. Whether the spirit was to go, they went, and they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning, and the lightning, and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now I beheld the living creatures. Behold, one will wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with its four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of beryl. And their four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as it were in a wheel, in the middle of a wheel. So these wheels have always, like, got me thinking, like, what are they? What are they? I really don't know what they are. But, like, yeah, it's like a watch, you know? It's like got wheels within wheels. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went as for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes around about them for. So these wheels, these rings, had eyes. <laughs> when the living creatures went, the wheels went with them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Thither was their spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up over against them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels when those went these went and when those stood these stood and when those were lifted up from the earth these were lifted up over against them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels <laughs> so interesting okay all right so that was a side treat anyway so here the cherubim the seraphim the offenin and the angels of power, and the angels of the Lord, namely, of the elect one. Huh, Lord in plural. The angels of the Lord in plural, namely, of the elect one, which is the Son and the Father, and of the other power, capital P, and of the other power, who was upon earth over the water on that day. Oh, important power, 
This is wisdom, the other power, capital P. Oh, this is actually not uh, Father and Son. It is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which is power. So this is uh, the Trinity. Wow. Okay. Because in the beginning in Genesis, the Spirit hovered over the water. All right, 14. Shall arise their united voice, shall bless, glorify, praise, and exalt the spirit of faith, with the spirit of wisdom and, and patience, with the spirit of mercy, with the spirit of judgment and peace, with the spirit of benevolence. All shall say with united voice, Blessed is he, and the name of the Lord of spirits shall be blessed forever and forever. All who sleep not shall bless it in heaven above. Oof, they sleep not. All the holy in heaven shall bless it. All the elect who dwell in the garden of life and every spirit of light who is capable of blessing, glorifying, exalting, and praising thy holy name. And every mortal man, more than the powers of heaven, shall glorify and bless thy name forever and ever. For great is the mercy of the Lord of spirits, Long-suffering is he, and all his works and his power, great are the things which he has done. Has he revealed to the saints and to the elect in the name of the Lord of Spirits? He has done, has he revealed to the saints and to the elect in the name of the Lord of Spirits? Thus the Lord commanded the kings, the princes, the exalted, and those who dwell on the earth, saying, Open your eyes and lift up your horns if you are capable if you're capable of comprehending the elect one. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> the Lord of Spirits sat upon the throne of his glory. Now this is God, and the spirit of righteousness was poured out over him. And the word of his mouth shall destroy all the sinners and all ungodly who shall perish at his presence. In that day shall all the kings, the princes, the exalted, and those who possess the earth stand up, behold, and perceive that he is sitting on the throne of his glory, that before him the saints shall be judged in righteousness, and that nothing which shall be spoken before him shall be spoken in vain. Wow power again so this is that combined power trouble shall come upon them as upon a woman in travail whose labor is severe when a child comes to the mouth of the womb she finds it difficult to bring forth oh that's called crowning one portion of them shall look upon another they shall be astonished and they shall humble their countenance and trouble shall seize them when they shall behold the son of woman, son of man, son of woman, sitting upon the throne of his glory. Then shall the kings, the princes, and all who possess the earth glorify him who has dominion over all things. All right. So trouble shall seize them when they shall behold the son of woman sitting upon the throne of his glory. Because he will be, or they shall be astonished and shall humble their face, their countenance, humble their countenance. So this is speaking of uh, the son of perdition, okay, and how they have changed the face, the countenance of Jesus to make him look like he is a European guy. So they shall be astonished and shall humble their countenance, their face, they shall be astonished and they shall humble that face, hide it. It's, there will come a day when like, that is going to be an embarrassment for them because they have done it like uh, <laughs> a fugazi, you know. So um, that's, that's not cool. And when people see that, then they'll they'll just know the truth and trouble shall seize them when they shall behold the son of woman sitting upon the throne of his glory so when they see the original person who's supposed to uh, sit there 
trouble shall seize them when this happens. Then shall the kings, the princes, and all who possess the earth glorify him who has dominion over all things, him who was concealed. He was concealed, okay? He was concealed. For from the beginning, the Son of Man existed in secret, whom the, the Most High preserved in the presence of his power and revealed to the elect. So if you know who this uh, Son of the Most High is, then you are elect. It is the glory of God to hide things. It is the glory of kings to reveal things. So if it is revealed to you, then you are elected. You are a ruler, okay? Because you have this knowledge. So they are good kings and evil kings. <laughs> so you are a ruler, a king. But then it's up to you to, 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 to find righteousness, Love righteousness, you that be judges on the earth. And think of God with a goodly heart. All right. So some people know this, but they, they, they're not thinking of the son of man, the son of woman with a good heart. But in any case, for from the beginning, the son of man existed in secret. So this is speaking in terms of as above, so below. So he is concealed in heaven. Fact. So as above, so below. So, he is concealed on earth. Fact. So, there are certain things happening on the earth that are concealed to so many people. But when you know where the Son of Man is, right? When you know whose countenance, whose face shall be humbled, then there is a lot of credence to that. Okay. Um... He shall sow the congregation of the saints and of the elect, and all the elect shall stand before him in that day. All the kings, the princes, the exalted, and those who rule over the earth shall fall down on their faces before him and shall worship him. They shall fix their hopes on his Son of Man, shall pray to him and petition him for mercy. Then shall the Lord of Spirits hasten to expel them from his presence. Their faces shall be full of confusion, and their faces shall and their faces shall darkness forever, darken forever. The angels shall take them to punishment, that vengeance may be inflicted on those who have oppressed his children. Get it now. Vengeance may be inflicted on those who have oppressed his children and his elect. All right? So I hope you get it. So if this person comes, those people are going to want to ask for mercy. And he's going to say no. Because they have afflicted his children. So they have afflicted him. So he is the son. And he has sons. So I am the son. You get it now? And the same way that he is the son, he is the father, but he is sometimes called like the, the since he sits on God's throne, he is God because no one else but the king sits there, but he is the son. But then sometimes he takes the role of that God. So this is... um. Not like sometimes he takes. It's not sometimes. It's eternal. So, um, it's like, yeah. You know, the two are one. They're not like, they're asexual. They don't need to reproduce. So, they're like a, a male and a female type thing. But they don't need to reproduce. So, it's not like a... Because when I say male, because it's, it's, it's limited. In our understanding, we're limited to male, female, light, day, up, down, left, right, left nose, right nose, left eye. You know, we are limited, but then they are limitless. So it's even hard for me to find uh, the best way. But an easy way is just to say that they are the same. Just like how a man and a woman are married, the two become one flesh. So you see the man, you see the woman, they have the same surname. But 
the man is good at taking care of certain things the woman is great at taking care of certain things so um when they when you see the woman you see her bearing the name of the man therefore you know the word the name the that loop was saying the word the name the the power the glory the faith yeah so when you have the word you have the name you have the vow you have the same person in different bodies basically so all angels shall take them to punishment that vengeance may be inflicted on those who have oppressed his children so in the same way that when you see jesus you see god when you see the children you see jesus or you see god in any case then they shall become an example to the saints and to his elect through them shall these be made joyful for the anger of the lord of spirits shall rest upon them so his anger has to go somewhere when the sword of the lord of spirits shall be drunk with their blood then the sword of the lord of spirits shall be drunk with their blood but the saints and the elect shall be safe in that day nor the face of the sinners and the ungodly shall they henceforth behold the lord of spirits shall remain over them and with this son of man shall they dwell eat lie down raise up forever and ever the saints and the elect have risen has arisen from the earth and have left off to depress their continences and have been clothed with the garment of life the garment of life is with the lord of spirits in whose presence your garments shall not wax old nor shall your glory diminish what a great place to start to stop <laughs> i'm really enjoying this okay so as i said i'm going to stop here and we'll pick it up from here uh awesome hanging out with you so uh let me have a little rest and I'll catch up with you soon. All right.